Western church has put themselves in a position to accept false Christ. That's right. That's right. Jesus had that problem. The very Messiah himself. Paul had that problem in Corinth. And we have that problem in America. We willfully receive something not of God. Because it sounds deep or philosophical. And it's looking straight to hell. And you're dancing to it. <laughs> Dancing over a cliff to hell. Mm -hmm. It's like Moses had the same problem. Yeah. I can't go away for 40 days you, and you <laughs> set, a calf just popped out of nowhere. <laughs> oh, it just, it, it just showed up. I mean, what's the difference between Aaron and the preachers of the day? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. The preachers of L.A., the preachers of Atlanta, preachers, I mean, all these preaching uh, programs. <gasps> Guess what? Uh, you know, uh, open marriage just popped out of nowhere. Uh, Oh, open marriage. <gasps> it just showed up. Oh, oh. Nah, I don't it's just here. One example. Let's keep reading. Go down to verse 12. Verse 12 of 2 Corinthians chapter 11, okay? But, I, but what I am doing, I will keep doing. I am determined to keep this independence in order to cut off the claim of those who want an opportunity to be regarded just as they were in the things they brag about. For such men are counterfeit apostles, deceitful workers, masquerading as apostles of Christ. And no wonder, since Satan himself masquerades as an angel of light, it is no great surprise if his servants also masquerade as servants of righteousness, but their end will correspond with their deeds. You see? Praise God. So what God is saying, you know, through Paul and even now, is that there's many people imposing themselves as a master of Christ, and they are not of Christ. There's no way you can stand there and tell me and get someone to come into a pulpit on a federal level, federal elected official, get into a pulpit, preach a eulogy for people who are slain in South Carolina, and sit there in a voice talking about homosexuality is not a sin. People miss that. There's no way you can go to Selma, Alabama and celebrate 50 years of freedom from a bridge that was owned by the top Grand Wizard Klansmen in Alabama, and you go on that bridge talking about black freedom and say homosexuality is the equivalent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And everybody, oh, 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 great mighty one, oh, great mighty one. That's what's happening. This is like last year, 2015. Masquerading. Can never say anything good about Jesus, but can say everything great about every other religion in the world. Boastful. False apostles. Okay? Okay, let's turn the Bible to another popular verse. And then I'm gonna break down a few things and hopefully we'll be out here pretty soon, okay? Alright. Second first Timothy chapter four, verse one through three. Praise the Lord. Why religion? What are you really, really serving? Okay? And this is where it's going to get ugly. Or pretty, depending on where you at. Okay? <laughs> when you have it, just say amen for me. Praise God. 1 Timothy 4, verse 1 through 3. Okay? I'm going to read this from the message translation. It says, <laughs> uh, the spirit, the spirit of God, that is, makes it clear that as time goes on, some are going to give up on the faith and chase after demonic illusions put forth by professional liars. These liars have lied so well and for so long, 
that they've lost their capacity for the truth. Wow. It's true. Amen. That's so true. That's true. What is true? Yes, it is. All you got to know is what I've been saying all this time. Let's break this down even further. I'm, I'm, let me read that one more verse here, okay? In verse 3, I'm going to read this from the King James. Forbidding to marry, commanding to abstain from meats, which God has ordained to be received with thanksgiving, of them which believe and know the truth. It goes on and on. I'm going to stop there. But this, we, we got to be careful of it, and, and this is where I'm going to really get real ugly today. Okay? <laughs> These masters today, what's happening in America is really terrible, and even in the world. Okay, what is going on? Vegan and vegetarians is a growing trend among Americans. Mm -hmm. Fast, you have every program there is. Go vegan, go vegetarian. Oh, meat, oh, that's, that's terrible. No, get rid of that meat. Get rid of that, oh, get rid of all that meat. Now, if you're gluttonous, that's a whole, we're not talking about gluttonous. We're not talking about you eating eight pieces of chicken at dinner. You know, that's not what we're dealing with. You know, because that will make you sick. Or eating 12 pieces of bacon at breakfast, you know what I mean? Yes, that will make you sick, because that's indulging beyond, you know, that's gluttony. We're not talking about gluttony. We're talking about basics. Like, take it all out. Look at this. We said there was 4,200 religions in the world. There are some that are very popular, very profound about being vegetarian. Buddhism, Hinduism, Jainism, there are some Islamic sects, sects or sectors, and there are seven day Adventists, and there's even sects of sectors of Judaism that declare that eating meat is against God's will. You see that? But this, if you look at what they're doing is, they are making false doctrines out of these things because what they, what they do is, they make up these fancy idols, as they call deities, they have all this color and texture, they put jewelry on it, they put it behind cages and stuff like that, got them looking crazy, you know, like, uh, you know, they go wild. And then people go put fruits in front of them. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> like, this is for you, I want you to eat this. I want you, Mr. Statue, to have this organic thing here that can, you know, perish. I want you to take it from, turn from being a statue, become real, eat this, and go back to what you're doing. Okay, now, that goes back to my four-year-old, my ten-year-old quote when I was ten-year-old. Why are people wearing dresses in church? Why are you giving fruits to statues? But they do it for so long. And they believe it's a rich that, oh, he's taking it. We want to treat this deity as if it's human because, you know, we're human and we want them to relate to us. So we can give what we have even though they don't even see you or even know what you are. There's no life to it. You made it a cultural construct and now you gave, you gave a ritual to it. And now you got people following that. What does it look like? A whole line of people going up. They're starving, bony, got bones sticking out, and you, you're afraid of the cow, you know, big old cow right there. Big old cow right there, a whole chicken coop right there, and you're starving, and you're giving a, a statue of some, some bananas. You know? I mean, we have to be honest, what are we looking at? But yeah, in America, we want to sit there, oh, we got to be vegan, because vegan helps us. You know what that is? simply a demonic spirit Influencing the culture. The cult coming into the culture. You see, another aspect of it, they believe that not eating animals is being kind to creatures. Oh, you nice little cow. Oh, you beautiful thing. That cow kicked you like a bull. Ain't nothing nice about him. Ain't nothing nice about him. He's a beast that God created for consumption. Yeah. Okay? Don't feed your people so they can live and Amen. learn Amen. and not be starving. Amen. Look at this. And this is where it gets even crazier. I mean, I'm being honest with you. This is, I mean, professional lies. What this word says. They've been doing it so long, they don't even know what truth is. Okay? And here's one that's going to, it's broken. It, it, this made me cry just about. In the words of Albert Einstein, 
I, I, kind of, I like Albert Einstein. I like math and stuff. I mean, I love it, you know. Yeah. In the words of Albert Einstein, this is what he said, nothing will benefit human health and increase the chances of survival on, of life on Earth as much as the evolution to a vegetarian diet. This is Albert Einstein. Einstein said it. He was a genius. So let's forget what God is doing. Let's go with Einstein. And that's what we do. You know, I like health and fitness. I like to work out and stuff like that. And, you know, in, in that process of exercise and stuff, I'm finding myself how to get more suits now and that. But what I find out is that so many people, like, they don't want to deal with meat at all. Well, how do you get protein? How are you going to run from the enemy if you have no protein to strengthen your body to run? Mm -hmm. It's very simple, okay? Let's go on to another one. Let's go on to this issue. I know we have children in here, but the kindergartens are learning about... Mm -hmm. yeah. Wrong <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Wrong stuff. <laughs> Wrong stuff. Backwards stuff. Backwards stuff. Stuff. No How old are these young people here? Praise God. They look like they in uh, elementary school or so. And that's where the enemy is going in this most ferocious fight. Amen. So we the church, we scared to death. We scared to death and say the word, that's the axe. And in schools, they got a big old picture book like this of things going against God. Give it to little kids. At five years old, what you need to know about this at five years old for? Right. Yeah. They want to indoctrinate with lies to yeah. their children. Yeah. So we as a church, as the kingdom of God, need to make sure that we are educating our children about what these liars, yeah. pants on fire, yeah. are doing. Yeah. Okay, so let's go into the celibacy. There are religions that believe in celibacy. Okay? Total celibacy. So if you want to be in ministry, like Catholics do it, that's Romans. Roman idols. Buddhists do it. Hindus do it. In order to be a monk or a priest or even a nun, you have to denounce sex. Forever. Forever. So if you have to denounce sex forever, why are you coming up in the headlines dealing with children the wrong Whoa. Way? Whoa. Oh. Really? Sure. Yeah. Why does kids come out 30 years later talking about <gasps> I want to go pray and I got prayed on? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. Idols. Yeah. That's true. Wow. Professional liars. Professional. <laughs> come on, tag team preacher. I hope you're learning something. I'm not romping and chomping, but we want to give you truth today. And here's the difference. If you read Matthew 19, Jesus said that celibacy is a gift, right. that it is given to certain people. That's right. It is not something that is natural for everybody to be able to partake in. Abstinence means you're waiting until God gives you to be able to start a family. But celibacy, when people say, I'm celibate, that is a supernatural gift that you have to be given by God. Amen. So that's the difference. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thank you for that clarity, teacher. Yeah. Yeah. Praise God for that. Because look, look, look where this is going. It says celibacy should be maintained because pleasure is to come from the idol. Oh, boy. You think about the idol. Repeat. Celibacy is to be maintained. Because pleasure is to come from the worship of the idol. Oh, wow. Wow. And this is going to get ugly here in a minute. <laughs> I'm telling you, I want to see, well, now that we, can, we pray that we get answers from God, and God exposes, and then we get what God exposes. So this is a part of prayer, Amen. being answered, Absolutely. understanding how these things are getting into the church. So if you understand the root of these things, then we know how to combat it. Like, why is it keep happening? Why, 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 instead of why it keeps happening, understand why it's happening. Understand the root of these things so we can preserve our generation. Yeah. They're going to be leaders right there. Yeah. 
I can see you training up all kind of attorneys, little lady. I can see you even taking over the NFL as a commissioner. Come on, man, praise God. Let me, let me start prophesying here. All right? Lord Jesus. Another thing 